Hey everyone, here is an interesting question from lines and angle and this is very important question. The question is, in the given figure, prove that AB is parallel to CD. Means this AB is parallel to CD. Now we will not going to directly prove this. First we are going to prove that this line CD is parallel to EF. And then later we are going to show that EF is parallel to AB and then automatically AB and DC will be parallel. But the first aim is to show that EF and DC are parallel. Now we know that suppose uh, this line is a transversal or okay let me show in this figure itself. Here I want to prove that the CE this line is a transversal of EF and DC. But how to show this? Now look at this angle 30 and 50. So if we add up this two angle 30 degree or I gonna say that angle CEF is nothing but this complete angle CEF okay this angle is 30 degree plus 50 degree which is equal to 80 degree right so this complete angle if I add I'll get 80 degree look at this angle that is angle C is also 80 degree or angle DCE this DCE is also 80 degree so I'm gonna write down but angle DCE is equal to 80 degree it's like we have this line we have uh, this line and this is a line here it's like a zigzag and this is 80 degree we got and we got this is also 80 degree so these are like alternate angle interior alternate angle here are equal if they are equal this means that this line will become transversal and this line and this line will be parallel here so this will be a conclusion here this is how we're going to get cd and ef are parallel all right so which implies angle c E F is equal to angle D C E. So, but we know, or we can say, which implies alternate interior angle are equal. Alternate interior angles are equal if alternate interior angles are equal this mean that this line cd is parallel to ef and ce will be transversal so we have done one part of the answer we have showed that this line cd is parallel to ef now next next i want to show that this line ef is parallel to ab now again if you look at the figure this angle B A E. Okay, I'll just mark, highlight this. B A E is 180 degree, and F E A is 50 degree, and they are lying on the one side of the transversal. So if you add this 130 and 50, we'll get to 180 degree, and we know that angle lying on one side of the transversal it's 180 degree so if you're adding up it's 180 degree this means that AE will become transversal and AB and EF will become parallel lines here see in the figure they have not given that which is parallel and which is transversal we are just adding up the angles and we're just using a properties to show that this is a transversal and these are the parallel lines so if I add 130 and 50 so angle A or yeah, angle AEF plus angle BAE is equal to 130 degree plus 50 degree or I have just added opposite it's 50 degree plus 130 degree so 50 degree plus 130 degree which is equal to 180 degree which implies that co-interior angle or interior angles we can say so co-interior angle sum is 180 degree so which implies that these two angles are parallel these two lines are parallel I'm sorry so this EF is parallel to AB so you might have learned in your school that we have one theorem where we're going to show that if 
certain property satisfy then lines will be parallel here so we have showed one property that is alternate interior angles are equal and that is why cd and ef are parallel similarly we have used one more property that co interior angle or angle lying on one side of transversal the sum is 180 degree then the line will become parallel so, so using that we got ef is parallel to ab now we're going to come to the conclusion part so i'm going to erase this thing so this is my second equation so from 1 and 2 so from 1 and 2 so the first one says that CD is parallel to EF right but in the second one we know that EF is parallel to AB so EF is parallel to AB so we got here CD is parallel to EF and EF is parallel to AB then obviously CD is parallel to AB so therefore CD is parallel to AB or you can write down AB is parallel to CD that's it so we have used the properties of lines and angles and we have showed that these two lines are parallel I hope it's clear in case you have other questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.